Okay, here we have question 12. As always, pause the video and have a go at the question if you haven't had a go already. Okay, now, before I read anything, I'm looking at these triangles, I'm thinking mm, irregular triangles, no right angle in there, could be something to do with cosine rule or sine rule. It's a little bit early on for that yet though. So I'm reading the question now, A, B, C and X, Y, Z are similar triangles. This word similar means that one of these um, is an enlargement of the other one, so there is a connection between them of a scale factor, something I've got to times one by to get the other, and a similar scale factor coming back this way, what we call the reciprocal scale factor. So we divide by that number to come back. So we're trying to work out the length of XZ, so this length here. So we need to find out what the connection is. We have a value here, 18. These quite nicely lined up. Sometimes these are spun around so they're not lined up. But this angle here matches this one, this angle here matches this one, this one, this one. So they're in this. you can see the connections there. The 12 is going to 2.4. Okay, so um, you may be able to figure out that that's uh, a scale factor of 0.2. You might not. If you can't, the the way you can do these always is to take it the triangle down to a, to a triangle where you have one on the side you're trying to com combine or to connect. And to do that we need to divide by 12 so that makes a, a triangle with a side 1 there and then to get back to this we want 2.4 we need to times by 2.4 so we don't act actually have a scale factor there but what we do have is a way of getting from the big triangle to the small triangle by dividing by 12 and times it by 2.4 so whichever way you want to do it you can do um, 18, which is the one we want. We want 18 going into here. We can do 18 times 0 0.2, and that would give us uh, 3.6. That is our answer. Or we could use this method or work for any connection. So we divide by this number and times by this number. So we divide by 12 and then times by 2.4, and that will also give us 30.6. And that's you know, three marks. There's one mark for the answer 3.6, um, one mark for some method of seeing a scale factor, so this uh, dividing by 12 times by 2.4 or the 0.2, uh, and then there's one for writing out a method of how to get from the 18 to the 3.6. So three marks.